In both Of Mice and Men and the Yellow Wallpaper, the characters have hopes and dreams they aspire for. In Of Mice and Men, Lenny and George's dream is living together on the farm, while in the Yellow Wallpaper, John's wife, or the main character, hopes to be let free of the room and to be able to live a normal life again. Let's take a look at these characters and their dreams. George? What? Can you tell me like you always do? Tell you what? About the rabbits. Okay, someday we're going to get the jack together and we're going to have a little house and a couple of acres and a cow and some pigs and... And living off the fat of land and rabbits. Go on, George. Tell about what we're going to have in the garden and about the rabbits in the cages and about the rain in the winter and the stove and how thick the cream is on the milk like you can hardly cut it. Tell about that, George. Why don't you tell it? You know all of it. No, you tell it. It ain't the same if I tell it. Go on, George. How I get to tend the rabbits? Ah, okay. So... As you can see from this clip, these two characters both hold a dream in their heart to one day settle down and be free from the hard work of a migrant worker. Both of the characters in both stories hold a similar dream of being free from their current situation. Let's see how this theme is developed in the yellow wallpaper. I wish I could get well faster. This dreaded wallpaper with these lines like jail bars are keeping me in, isolated from the rest of the world. I can hardly eat anymore because of the nervousness of the eyes within the wallpaper, always staring at me. I want more than anything to be set free, to be let go from this room and its wretched wallpaper. I want to be free from the nervousness I feel and the isolation, but I am trapped behind these jail bars, kept hidden from the rest of the world. What are you doing? Are you writing? I'm sorry, I just couldn't take it anymore. This nervousness I feel in this dreaded wallpaper. You and your wallpaper. Stop worrying and get some rest. It's just wallpaper, there's no reason to fret. You need to keep calm and rest to get better. Go on and sleep until dinner is ready. And no more writing. Similar to Of Mice and Men, the main character in this work also dreams of freedom from isolation. In her case, she wishes to be free from the room with the yellow wallpaper and the oppression from her husband who is keeping her there. In both of these series, the characters feel feelings of loneliness or companionship. Let's see how the characters in Of Mice and Men experience these feelings. You know, a lot of other guys have plans like us but never see them through. We are not like them. Why? Because I got you, and you got me, and ain't nothing is ever gonna change that. As you can see, George and Lenny have a strong feeling of companionship with each other. This is vastly different to the feelings felt by the characters in the yellow wallpaper. Let's see how the characters in the yellow wallpaper experience these feelings. Good afternoon, my darling. What's wrong? You look flustered. <sighs> Nothing. I just feel a bit lonely, that's all. Why? We are here together, aren't we? In this beautiful house. Don't feel lonely, just rest and try to get better. Then we could get out more. Anyway, I have to get back to work. Don't worry about all this loneliness or whatever you feel. I'm here with you. Maybe I wouldn't feel so lonely if you didn't trap me in my own room all alone all day and hardly ever acknowledge me. Contrary to Of Mice and Men, the characters of the yellow wallpaper feel deep loneliness, especially the main character. While characters experience these feelings of loneliness in Of Mice and Men, such as with characters like Crooks, the main characters still have a strong feeling of companionship, which differs them from a lot of other characters in Of Mice and Men. Symbols in Of Mice and Men There are many symbols throughout both of the works of Of Mice and Men and the Yellow Wallpaper. One such symbol in Of Mice and Men is the rabbit which Lenny adores. Let's explain what these rabbits mean in the story. Lenny? Yes, George? Why do you like hearing about those goddamn rabbits so much? Uh, I don't 
no, George. I guess it's because they're soft. Not the rabbit specifically. Why do you like hearing the damn story so much? Oh, uh, I guess it makes me, uh, happy. Hmm, I'll tell you why I like telling it. When I tell you that story, it gives me hope for that day when we get that little ranch. Oh, yeah, George. That's what I feel, too. It makes me hope I can finally pet those rabbits one day. As you can see, the rabbits that Lenny wants to tend in the future represent hope. More specifically, they represent the hope Lenny and George have to one day live on the ranch and be free from their hard lives as migrant workers. In the yellow wallpaper, there are also many symbols throughout the story. One such symbol is the wallpaper itself. Let's explore what the wallpaper symbolizes. Every day, this wallpaper makes me feel more trapped. I can't stand it. Why do I see these eyes and that woman trapped in the bars of the wall? Maybe it's in my, it is myself in the wall. Maybe I have been trapped so long, I have begun to see things. But alas, I stare at this woman in the wall, trapped as I am. As you can see, the wallpaper in the story symbolizes the main character's feeling of being trapped in the room, as shown by the woman who is trapped in the wallpaper similar to herself. She feels as if the wallpaper itself is prison bars, and this is developed throughout the course of the story. For the settings part of our project, we chose to discuss one different setting from each story. The first setting we will discuss is the bunkhouse where George, Lenny, Candy, and many other members of the farm live. The bunkhouse was a long rectangular building with whitewashed walls and in general was very poorly maintained because it was a place for only migrant workers who lived low class lives. Many different actions occur in this location throughout the story, such as the battle between Lenny and Curly. It is a very significant and important location in the story. Much of the dialogue takes place in this area, and not much is described about this location other than how it is not that well kept and how it is pretty crowded because of the large amount of migrant workers staying in the bunkhouse. For the yellow wallpaper, the location we decided to describe is the nursery itself. The nursery to the main character feels very isolated. The windows are barred, there's very little space to breathe, and the yellow wallpaper as the name of the story suggests, is very significant to the story. For our character review, we decided to do, for Of Mice and Men, Curly. Curly is a bit of a cynic, which is a person who believes that only selfishness motivates human actions, or believes that people only do something in order for personal gain. This can be shown at the end of the story when he doesn't understand why George is upset after Lenny's death. Curly is also an elitist. He believes himself to be the best of the best in all ways and challenges those greater than him. This can be shown in his fight scene with Lenny and many other places throughout the story where he challenges Lenny in general or all the other members on the ranch. For the yellow wallpaper, we decided to talk about the narrator, who is never given a name. For the most part, she is a non-conformist, a person who refuses to conform as to established customs, attitudes, or ideas. They go against what other people expect or tell them what to do. She is an example of this because of how she goes against her husband and continues writing and starts to get crazier and crazier because of it until she becomes a full nonconformist at the end of the story and goes completely insane.